Right, it's now been boiling for about an hour. Um, I'll see if I can tip it up a little bit. Hopefully, let's turn it off. Hopefully you can see that it has reduced down because that was the level that it was at to start with and it's reduced down um, about three quarters of an inch. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to test um, some of the little bits of, um, of peel just to see if they're soft. Right, so I'll just put some on there. Be careful because it's still incredibly hot. So just leave it to cool just for a, uh, just for a few minutes um, and then we'll test it. Right, so it's cooled for a couple of minutes so you can pick it up now. And what you want to do is you want to push your nail into it and see if it's soft. The underside, all this stuff here will be lovely and soft, but it's it's the rind here that you've got to make sure. Now it still feels, it should squish quite easily, it's still a little bit, there's a bit of tension there. So what I'm going to do is I'll put this back in and I think I'll boil it for another, or simmer it should I say, simmer it for another half an hour and then I'll test it again. Right, I've boiled it for another 15 minutes and I just thought I would test it again. So I've taken some out and put it on the spoon and this actually feels, your nail goes through it quite easily. So I'm going to say, for me, that's done. If you personally want it a bit softer, then boil it for a little bit longer, but just test it on a regular basis. Remember. But we're going to be boiling it for a bit longer anyway once the sugar's in there. So if it's not really, really soft, if you want it really, really soft, it will soften up in the boiling process. So um, I'll put that back in and we'll move on to the next stage. Now, I don't know if you can see that, it's actually boiled down a lot more. There's not a huge amount of juice in here actually at the moment. So when it gets low, be careful because it will catch on the bottom. Um, so just just be aware. And when it when the the liquid does go down quite low, you may well have to sort of stir it continuously. But I think two hours is most probably too long. As I say, do it for an hour, then check it after about ten minutes, and then go from there. But what we need to do now is we need to take this bag off. Now remember the jam in the marmalade in here is incredibly hot which is why we've tied it here. So all we need to do is untie it and pull this little bag out and stick it on a plate because we need to do something with this in a minute. Right now in this bowl here I've got four pounds of granulated sugar. You don't need to worry about getting uh, the jam sugar for this, which has extra added pectin in it. You don't need that for marmalade. For other jams you do, but this one you don't. So it's just normal bog standard marmalade, uh, bog standard uh, sugar. What we're going to do is very, very slowly, is we're going to add this sugar to the marmalade. Right, so with the heat on very, very low, we are going to add the sugar one spoonful at a time. Don't pour the whole lot in because it needs to, uh, to dissolve. And if you pour the whole lot in, it won't dissolve properly. So if you've got a ladle, then use a ladle. I do, but it's in the dishwasher at the moment. So this spoon is absolutely fine. So I'll put a couple of spoons in. I'll mix this round. And when the bit of sugar that I've put in has dissolved, I will then add a little bit more and I will keep doing this until all the sugar is in. You don't want the temperature high when you do this, you want it nice and low because if it's too high then it will start catching and it will start burning on the bottom. So I'll just carry on with this and I'll come back to you when it's all done. Right, so in goes the last little bit of sugar. 
we'll stir it round so that little bit of sugar dissolves now when you put the sugar in the liquid content comes back up again so don't worry about that that's fine it's exactly what it's supposed to do and once all the sugar's in we'll turn the temperature up not fully but about two-thirds and we want to stir this until all of the sugar granules have dissolved completely this can take about five minutes okay but you don't want it boiling until all the sugar granules have dissolved um, otherwise when it sets you'll then get a load of crystallized jam which is not very nice at all make sure at this point you stir it continuously <coughs> excuse me because the sugar's in there it will start to burn very very quickly if you leave it all right now you will also notice that the color of the marmalade has changed it's a slightly darker color now um, and I'll just show you that so hopefully you can see that it is it is darker in color now this marmalade okay so it's much darker than it was to start with which is a good sign because it should be slightly darker now the way to see if all the granules the sugar granules have dissolved is all you need to do bring the spoon out okay but make sure it doesn't drip everywhere and all you need to do is to run your finger over the spoon if you can feel little grains be careful because it is quite hot if you can feel little grains it's still not quite dissolved properly you won't be able to see them but you'll be able to feel them and that's not quite there but it is nearly so I'll just stir it for a little bit longer sometimes you get sugar around the outside above the jam so make sure you get all of that off as well okay let's try it again different finger now there's no grainy bits in there now okay so that all that sugar is now dissolved so we'll just bring that to a boil very very gradually <laughs> 